what we should be paying attention to as preachers and what we've been called to pay attention to probably has not changed. Some of the content has changed, but the reality hasn't. Um, Dietrich Bonhoeffer, um, in one of his letters from, from prison, um, said that, that, that true saintliness, true holiness is found by fully embracing, immersing oneself in the world, in all of its struggles and all of its hopes, in its light and in its darkness. I mean, fully immersing oneself in the world, whether that was in the 1950s or, or, or in the 21st century or in the first century or the 21st century. Um, and I think simultaneously, if, if Bonhoeffer and other places said it is also fully embracing oneself in the word and say, I think we as preachers have got to fully immerse ourselves, if you will, in both the word of God and the world un until the word of God becomes flesh and dwells among us in that world. And when that happens, preaching happens. When that happens, we've got something to say, whether it's 21st century or the first century. Um, and that's that's and that's the difficult work because it means I remember when 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 I was a parish priest, um, um, often having mixed emotions when I got called out from a time when I was actually on the cusp of, of a sermon or struggling with a sermon and had to go do something, whether it was a hot call to the hospital or had to respond to something in the neighborhood, had to do something. And I remember feeling, wait a minute, but I was trying to here. I, I was trying to write the sermon and, and it occurred to me that part of the word must be in the world and and that the word only comes to life in the world. And a lot of times the sermon <laughs> was responding to whatever that was. Um, and I needed to do both, both the study and hit the streets. <laughs> but but it was only out of the chemistry of bringing all that stuff together. That's something worth saying that actually has the gravity of God's word and that has the reality of life as it gets lived somehow brought together. That's incarnation. And, and when that happens for folk, that's where, pre that's where preaching happens. Um, and so I, I'm not sure it's really changed. I think the, the, the environment has changed. Um, I mean, obviously, I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, I've got a smartphone in my pocket. I mean, you know, my kids will text me any, you know, any second now. I mean, so obviously that has changed. But, but as Howard Thurman said long ago, um, there, there is a hunger in the human heart that neither time nor circumstance will change and nothing but the living God will satisfy. And, and that hasn't changed. It, it, in our time, it may be more difficult to, to, to communicate that. And, and that's real. And, and it may take more work on our part. And, and that's real. But I dare say if we could, could get Paul from glory and ask him, he wouldn't think our task is any more difficult than his was in the first century. <laughs> And he did it then, and we'll do it now. But I do think it is immersing oneself in the life of the world, immersing oneself in the living word of God. And out of that chemistry um, comes something worth saying and worth hearing in, in our time or in any time.